what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video with today's video we're going to be going over the best free players that you can be earning right now in mutt 24 let's go ahead and jump on into it this is a weekly video series we drop it each and every sunday it's definitely going to help out all of my no money spent players out there and if you just recently picked up the game this is also something you should be following to not spend money not spend coins and build your team so let's go over all of the best free content and we got a brand new field pass this week with the season four field pass so if you care to grind this one this should be your primary focus you're going to get a ton of free packs coins players etc so let's go ahead and go through it if you've been playing the game all year you already know how this works out so i'm really speaking to the people who do not know or maybe again just recently got the game over the holidays or so so with this field pass all of your rewards are going to be found at the bottom of the screen and you can scroll through them with the left or right d-pad to go back and forth when you first log in and some people didn't get this pack originally but they did send out a make right two days ago i think it was but you should have received a welcome pack that contains an 86 overall ray lewis this is the featured player the champion for the season four field pass once you get that card you can put him in your lineup right away he actually has all of his abilities and x factors unlocked already you don't have to level him up to a certain overall to unlock those so that's a w because he gets lurk artist for zero ap but if you scroll through these rewards every 10 levels so level 10 you can see there's a ray lewis upgrade we skip ahead we go to level 20 there's another one levels 10 20 30 40 and 50 are going to give you these ray lewis upgrade tokens and eventually you're going to be able to upgrade him once you get to level 50 to a 96 overall for free and to me this looks like a w of a card i know some people have some complaints about it i know people think he's recycled i get it i totally do but for a free card with zero ap lurk artist i do think it's a good card and especially on my no money spent squad he will be uh the starting middle linebacker so i'll be going after this card on two different accounts now there are three other feature players there's actually four but but three of them kind of belong in the same group. So level six, you're going to get a 90 overall Ty Law. If you scroll down a little bit further at level 14, you're going to get a 92 overall Joe Montana. And then finally, we got to go down a little bit further for this one here. At level 34, you're going to get a 93 overall Chris Jones. So all of these cards you can earn for free. You can put them in your lineup. But when you get all the way to level 55, which this is something I'm not really a fan of. This should have come earlier in the field pass, in my opinion. And you shouldn't have to decide between the three players but at level 55 you do get an upgrade token that will take one of those three players of your choice up to a 94 overall and I'll, I'll show all three of those players at their full overall on the screen for you to see in my opinion the route to go especially because this is going to be so far down the road but the route to go in my opinion is going to be the Chris Jones card we get tons of quarterbacks and cornerbacks throughout the year with different promos and whatnot whereas defensive tackle it's not a skill position it's not a position that a lot of people tend to like to spend their coins on he does get inside stuff for one ap as well so this is a good way to add either a starter to your defensive line or some depth to your defensive line being that you have four spots for defensive tackle so that's the route that i'm going to go but again you can choose what you want to do and then the fifth and final feature player is going to be at level 44 it's this 95 overall jerry rice another really good looking card i think the biggest question that a lot of people have or the biggest complaint is how long is it going to take to earn this content and is it going to feel relevant by the time that you do earn it i still think that jerry rice and ray lewis will be very usable cards by the time the masses get to them the other three players again i totally get the complaints on that and i'm with you on those now with this field pass i mentioned it you get players you get packs you get coins you get a bunch of different things everything you need to do to level up this field pass is going to be found to the right under the milestone tab so you can scroll through and take a look at all of the things that you need to do the dailies is the most important so every day and it's usually about 10 30 a.m eastern time we get a new set of three objectives you knock out those objectives it's going to go towards your daily tracker and every day that you knock one of these out you got these compiled rewards so at two days five days ten days you get big chunks of xp so definitely focus on getting your daily objectives done and then every week we get a new set of objectives these update every wednesday so this upcoming wednesday you'll see a week two there that will have four new objectives that give you things that you can earn xp now this is the main place you're going to earn xp on this field pass 
but in the other field passes, you have more opportunities to earn XP for the season four field pass. We also got a brand new competitive pass this week, which, you know, I'm going to grind it because I enjoy playing Madden online and competing, but I totally understand why people are going to kind of fall back on this one because the player rewards specifically, they just aren't that good, but there is a ton of four a ton of season four XP in here. So if you go into the competitive pass, it's going to be pretty much the same. Uh, aside from the objectives, you know, you got to go through much champs, solo battles, head to head seasons. These are the three primary game modes you want to play to level up this field pass. Mutt Champs is the most lucrative when it comes to XP. Solo Battles is next. Head to Head Seasons is last, but Head to Head Seasons is great if you're really good at the game because you can make a lot of coins and earn a lot of free packs by doing so. It just doesn't pay out very well when it comes to XP specifically for the competitive pass. And you have your milestone rewards. These are compiled rewards or compiled objectives that you go after from week to week to week and more hopefully will be added. These don't expire, whereas the Head to Head season solo battles and much jams if you look in the upper right part of your screen they do have a timer on there these will be expiring so you want to make sure you knock those out before friday if you look at the rewards again season four xp tons of packs in here there is also coin rewards there's a couple like there's a 91 overall blitz fantasy pack somewhere down the line there's a 92 overall harvest fantasy pack both players being bnd if you're new to the game those cards are probably going to help if you've been playing the game all year those cards are probably just going to be quick sell for you you're going to get rid of them and get the training from them at level 22 you get your first exclusive player reward it's a 93 overall tommy devito level 22 here problem with this one is the attributes are solid okay uh, if you're in the top 1000 you unlock a special ability bucket that gives him pass lead elite and that's going to be 6 ap you also can get hot route master for 2 ap so you would be spending all eight AP on offense on one player, but you know, you, you can impact so many other players with the hot route master and pass lead elite is like an upgraded better version of set feet lead. It works on the run. It works when you're moving. The biggest L on this card though, is if you're not in the top 1000, which much more people will not be in the top thousand than they will be. Uh, you don't get set feet lead on this card. You don't get hot route master. So at that point, it just, I don't want to call it not usable because people are going to use it, but there's so many better inexpensive options out there at quarterback and even free options like the 91 overall Baker Mayfield from the Zero Chill Field Pass, the 93 overall Johnny Manziel from the Campus Hero Field Pass, which we'll talk about in a moment. So this card, unfortunately, is a dud unless you're in the top thousand. Even at that, there's just better options out there above that one. And then the second exclusive player reward, again, not a bad card. It's 94 overall exclusive at Caleb Evans. Good speed, good height, solid abilities, not the greatest out there, but this one's going to take so long to earn and by the time people do earn it there's just going to be better options and cheaper options out there i mean there's not cheaper than free but there's going to be inexpensive options at the cornerback position that have like attributes and probably better abilities so comp pass is solid for the xp the player rewards not so much the coins in the packs you know it really just depends on your pack luck and if you get anything good out of them the third brand new field pass this week is going to be the playoff field pass which is actually a really good one so if you go into this field pass much much like all of the others everything you need to do to level it up the objectives are going to be found to the right here if we go back to the reward tabs you should have received a welcome pack that gives you a lower overall Darrell Revis card there are Darrell Revis tokens that can be found there's one in this field pass two in solo challenges it's not obtainable yet but once you unlock those three upgrade tokens you can get this 92 overall Darrell Revis for free the most that I like about this card is he gets pick artists for zero AP he's not going to be a top five cornerback in the game but I still think it's a good and usable card for no money spent players and people who just recently got the game i'll be using it on my no money spent squad if you scroll through this field pass and look at the rewards again tons of playoff packs there's coin rewards lots of season four xp to get you through that season four field pass we talked about earlier and all the way at the end this is definitely a w here it's not achievable yet but at the end which is level 22 likely will be achievable when part two of this promo comes out this upcoming thursday you're basically going to be able to get a free 94 overall bnd playoff champion and the cards that you have to choose from right now are all really really good like i don't think there's one bad one we will drop a video this upcoming week here once this pack is obtainable going over the best 94s to take from it so be on the lookout for that and i want to see if they add more 94s based off of the playoff games that happened last night today and tomorrow i want to go back to the objectives and that darrell revis specifically the three upgrade token 
weapons you need to earn. As I said, two of them are in solos. The third one you're going to obtain by completing a playoff hero set or a playoff champion set. And that's going to be how you get that Darrell Rivas upgraded to a 92. We also do have house rules in this field pass and this promo. Now you need to win games to earn XP within the field pass, right? To level it up, to get to that free 94 overall. But also you want to play through the house rules to earn additional packs. Unfortunately, at this very moment, it is down for maintenance. There was a big issue where wins were not counting for everybody. You had to reset your game for them to start counting. So they took it down. I don't expect it to be back up today. Might not even be back up tomorrow with the holidays. So you might have to wait until Tuesday for it to come back up. But there are a bunch of free packs. There's no player rewards in here, but a ton of free 88 plus overall playoff packs that you can get for grinding through house rules. As far as field passes go, the last one we're going to talk about is this Campus Heroes 2 field pass. Now, I don't know when they did this, but they definitely changed it over the weekend. There was an opportunity to earn more Season 4 XP in this field pass, and recently they changed it to Coin Rewards, which is a huge L. So if you weren't able to take advantage of this and get a little bit of XP towards Season 4, you're missing out. Now instead, you get 10k for each of these levels, but the main reason you're really playing through this field pass is to get the Campus Heroes helmet stickers. That's if you want this free Johnny Manziel. So there's four stickers that you need in totality. There's lots of routes to get them. One of them was a Campus Heroes house rules, which is expired. So you can no longer get it through there. You would have to get one of the four from this field pass. If you go into your objectives, kind of like the playoff promo field pass, completing a hero or champion set will give you a second helmet sticker out of the four that you need to upgrade Johnny Manziel. And the other ones I believe are going to be found in the solo challenges. Let me just verify that because it's been a couple weeks. I forgot exactly where they are. All are, all, all are. I can't speak here. So Campus Heroes Field Pass. If you look at the milestone rewards, you get XP for completing these solos in that field pass I just showed you. There's a helmet sticker at tier four. So that's the third one that you need. I think the fourth one now, because you can't play house rules, there's a set in the game that you would have to complete to get the fourth one. Unfortunately, at this point, unless you really need a quarterback, you can go after it. But if you don't, I wouldn't worry about the Johnny Manziel. This is what the card looks like at a 93 overall, really low deep throw and throw under pressure. But when I use this card, I found that he was still pretty accurate and he does get set feet lead for, I think it was five, five AP. I don't think it's at a discount, uh, which is much needed on that card because it's released without that. And Gunslinger is not very good. So uh, that's that's the Campus Hero 2 Field Pass and the Campus Hero 2 Promo in a nutshell. We did talk about the Playoff Field Pass and upgrading the Darrell Revis. There are two different sections of Solo Challenges. And if you look at the Milestone Rewards here, this is where you're going to get those uh, Revis upgrade tokens. Tier 3, 35 stars in the Mythic Playoff section. And there's a bunch of other Coin Rewards and Pack Rewards. And then the other section of Playoffs, which is Road to Victory. Look at the Milestones here. Uh, there's another Revis token at Tier 5, which is not achievable just yet. You have to wait for Part 2 of the Promo. You also get a 91 one overall BND player fantasy pack uh, from the playoff promo. This one also not achievable. It will be likely this upcoming Thursday. So once that is, I'll make a video going over the best 91s to take from that pack. If we quickly go through the other solos, you can get a free 85 and 88 from the Division Dynasty solos. You can get a free 88 that's not BND from the Team Diamonds. So you can make a little bit of coin from there. If you just recently got the game, AKA solos might be worth it. The best card from these is a 92 overall Aaron Donald, but it's a lot of solos to play for a BND 92 at this point in the year. So this is really only if you just recently got the game. Team of the Week solos each week are going to give you a collectible, a player card that's BND, and a uniform, and it pretty much repeats. So I'll go to Week 12, for example. Uh, here you got yourself an 85 overall BND card. They go up and overall as the weeks go on. You get a Team of the Year collectible or token in the second solo every week. These will be used to trade in for a free Team of the Year card when that promo comes out. And then the third solo, I get asked all the time, how did you get the Kelly Green uniforms? The third solo each week features a team. Whatever team is featured in there, you get a, a uniform for that team. So this is where I got those Eagles Kelly Green uh, home uniforms. And the away ones are in the level 11 reward of the Season 4 Field Pass, if you are wondering that as well. Uh, finally, we have the Legend solos. Each and every week, we get a new set of solos. They did fi fix the issue where the Week 1 solos were giving you a server error message by combining them with week two but each week you knock out the seven solos six of them and then there's the final challenge once you beat the first six solos you're going to get milestone stars and every seven stars you're going to get a legend token 16 tokens equals one free legend of your choice non bnd as well so you can make coin off of it it also does not include 
LTDs. Uh, and then you're going to be able to get another set of 16 very soon, which will get you a second free legend by playing through these. So they're definitely must-haves. And I'll be doing a video soon on the best legends to take from this as we approach that second free legend. So that's it. That's everything you can do in the game right now to earn all of the best free content in the game. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.